Good morning folks, Brett Bass here from Good Hope Equestrian and Regenerative Farm. As you can see, I'm standing by the big old tree that fell over in the ice storm a few videos back. And that is today's task. We're going to chop this up the best we can into usable portions to inoculate with mushrooms. I've got some lion's mane spawn on the way that I'll be doing a totem method with on a lot of the bigger logs. And whatever we can get turned into wood chips, I've got some King Strafaria spawn on the way that I'm going to turn into a mulch bed that both should give us some delicious edible mushrooms. So stick around to see us cut this tree down to size. All right, guys, my pole saw ran out of gas, so I'll take a minute to show you what I'm doing here. These are the logs that'll be uh, usable for plugs. We can probably do shiitakes with these. And over here is the pile of stuff that I'm gonna be putting in a wood chipper when we're able to get a hold of one of those. That's gonna be for the mulch beds. And these bigger logs, we're gonna be doing a totem method with this, and I'll be t showing you guys how to do each one of those as we get them done. So there's a little system we're doing here. And Jim just showed up with this big chainsaw, so this thing's gonna be chopped liver here soon. All right, the Calvary has arrived. This is not a still commercial, but it could be. Jim brought all the heavy duty equipment and even his own pole saw to help deal with this tree. I mean, it's a big old tree, folks, so it's not unwarranted, but I guess I'm going to learn the finer points of chainsawing today because Jim is an expert. He's a professional electrician, professional plumber, professional handyman, just a, an all-around handy fella. So we're going to get to knocking it with the big boys now.
Jim has done a mighty good job getting this tree cut down to size. His chainsaw blade's a little dull now. He's going to sharpen that up, but we are almost done. This is the last of it. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these guys into totems. These are going to be about the perfect size for the totems I'm making for Lion's Mane. So I'm going to do that for you now. Alright, I got all these totems piled up. This will all be for Lion's Mane. Jim has done some serious work to this tree. It's on his final cut right now. I had to go do some chainsaw maintenance to get it. As you can see, he's been a busy fella. Everybody grateful for his expertise. And his hard work. Mushrooms, stump, and all the rotting logs on the left, all the solid logs on the right. Stuff for the wood chipper. It's been a good day. The sun's going down. Hard day's work. This is Brett Bass at Good Hope Question Regenerative Farm. Signing off. See you soon.